Alright, what's up guys? Today we will be um, looking at the very very basics of Unity. Um, I'm assuming y'all already have Unity uh, downloaded and if y'all don't I will leave a link in the description. Alright, so let's get right to it and uh, create a new project in uh, projects. And so after you do this you can uh, select what type of project you want to do. For the sake of this video I'm just going to be doing 3D. Unity supports 2D and 3D so it's really up to you but uh, 3D is a very good starting out um, starting out uh, version so we're just going to be doing that for the sake of today's video and so I'm just going to uh, call this Unity Basics. Y'all can name this whatever and so let me create the project and so then it'll start creating the project this can take up to usually two to five minutes so um yeah get a snack or something <laughs> all right so we got our project all set up and this might look a little intimidating at first but it's very very self-explanatory so to um look around you hold the uh, right button on your mouse and you can look around you can keep going and then you can uh, look around this entire area there isn't much to see as you can see um, and to uh, uh, like move around you hold the right uh, button and then you just click WASD and you can move around like this and so uh, the uh, first two things you might see is a spotlight this is uh, the um, uh, light that is coming up from above. So you can see, you can uh, tilt it this way. It doesn't really do anything, but if you start tilting it this way, then it'll start turning nighttime. And uh, it doesn't really matter where this pos uh, the um, po uh, position of this really is. So you can just fling it off over there. Uh, but anyway, uh, so um, to uh, move things around actually, so there's a little panel here and uh, you can uh, click something and uh, you can move around like this. Um, w is move around, E is rotate, R is size up, etc. And so, um, and here is your little um, uh, like toolbar you could say. And you can find the um, wherever something is. You can click on it. If you click on the camera, it'll highlight the camera. And uh, to go really fast in uh, Unity, or instead of just going a super slow um, speed, you can hold Shift so that you can um, zoom around. And so yeah, you can go up to the um, spotlight here and get there really quickly. And then to come back, you can. Uh, click the main camera and yeah so uh, that's exact uh, that's what the spotlight does and the main camera here let me go down back down here is whenever you go into a game this is what the camera uh, sees and so yeah you can zoom it in a little bit to make sure there's no black parts and um, then you can go back to scene this is where you can edit this stuff so uh, yeah, so those are the uh, two basic things so far in our toolbar. To uh, create something in our toolbar, we right click and then you click 3D objects. And then you can create a number of uh, things here. Uh, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to create a cube. And so it's over here. I'm going to click W to move around. And uh, there, th th this is a way you can move around, but uh, if you want it to snap in place, you can hit control and then it will snap in place like that. So yeah, so I usually do that just to get some more precision and so that a bunch of stuff won't be messed up. Uh, yeah, so um, if we move that in front of the camera, uh, make also uh, make sure your camera is at zero, zero, zero. It doesn't have to be, but... Um, it's just uh, there for the sake of uh, organizing stuff. And then also, if you uh, 
put the cube in the 0, 0, 0 position, it'll be exactly where the camera is. So that's an easy way to get to where your camera is. So let me um, zoom out here. So now, um, when we go into a game, we will see the cube now. So, um, so far, um, yeah, so, so far we only have a cube. So, um, uh, you can also, if you click R, you can extend like this way or this way. But, uh, if you want to revert anything or go back to, uh, the thing you had before, you can click Control Z. And this, this works for like any website really. And it's very helpful to just, if you make a mistake, you can just Control Z and then I'll fix it. So, um, yeah, so, um, and here is your uh, assets section, and you can click, uh, you can right click here, and, and we're going to try to change the color of this um, square, and you click create, and then you go all the way down um, to material, and uh, here you can, uh, you really don't have to name it anything in specific. But uh, if you uh, want to rename it or something, you click F2, and you can uh, uh, name it to whatever. So we can name this to green. And so over here, it might look a little complicated as well, but um, you can just simply change the color to green and whatever you really like. And if you want to add a second color uh, to it, you can click emission, and then you can also uh, like add a second color slightly green or um, yeah so and this just adds a second color basically and uh, yeah so so far this is not applied to anything if we want to apply it to something we can go over to here we could apply it to the cube or we could apply it through here too and so now it is um, now green nice and green and uh, another thing so I'm gonna click control to snap in place so what we're going to try to do is make a tree so um, to duplicate an object you click control D and you see here it created another object in the toolbar and um, we, uh, let's create another color here and uh, assign it to brown go into a, a material uh, we can just name it brown and uh, let's find brown here and go right there and add a secondary color and just to give it more depth and so yeah so so far we just added it right there we can maybe make it a bit darker we can make the smoothness a little less smooth there we go all right so so far um, we did that and uh, uh, to completely change the entire size of an entire object you want to click the middle thing here and just size it down here and then what you can do from there uh, you can increase this part here and then so far we got a nice little uh, poly looking tree and uh, also another thing you can do is you can click the cube over here and you can, uh, this also probably looks pretty complicated for some of y'all. And y'all can, uh, you can uh, receive shadows or cast shadows. You see, if I have this on, it casts a shadow. But if you don't have it on, then uh, the shadow will just go away there. So yeah, so you can do really whatever. And um, you can uh, uh, control D this to copy it, snap it in place. And then you just create a couple of trees and now when we click play here which just goes to the game section basically yeah now you can see three different trees and let's move that down a bit here we can uh, increase that a little bit nice all right so now we have uh, like a, a couple little trees and I'm going to uh, so that's just like a little fun project uh, to create in Unity and um, now I'm going to try to uh, create a little level here and instead of this being a tree I'm going to uh, 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 make it uh, basically a 
um, platform. And yeah, so I'm going to make it go down a little bit. So nice. Now we have a little platform here. And so what we can do is just do this and then nice. So now, now we have a little platform and we can uh, maybe set it around here. That looks about good. Maybe a little bit down. And so now uh, we can assign this. Uh, press F2 to rename it. And we can just uh, name this uh, uh, dirt. And then we can name this uh, grass. Just to keep things a bit neat. Uh, neat. And another thing we can do is we can uh, create an empty object here. And uh, what this really does is nothing really. It just creates an item in your toolbar. It doesn't really do anything. So we can have a level here and then we can put all this stuff in here. And so now when we select the level, it uh, selects this entire area. And But if you want to uh, uh, click them separately, you can just uh, click them in the toolbar here or inside the game. And uh, so, yeah, so let's try to create a little player and i um, going to create a cube to do that. We got it up here. Let's not cast any shadows or receive shadows. All right, and we actually can just put, we should probably just put this to zero, 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 and then just move it over here. All right, so yeah, so now when you pl click play, nothing should um, really happen. Uh, it will just be a floating cube so far. And so to change this, we will go to, also we can rename this to player, click F2, I mean press F2 to rename it. We can just name it player. And um, yeah, so we're going to go to add a component. And um, here we can uh, just uh, do rigid body. If you, we were in 2D, we would do rigid body 2D, but we're just doing 3D, so we're just going to do regularly, a uh, regular one. And uh, so far, yeah, so um, we uh, added a rigid body. Uh, this is a box glider here, and it basically just tells if your player will run into things, and or if these didn't have box colliders, you can disable them, and then your player will kind of fall through. I like will show you there, and uh, but yeah, so far all you had to do is just add a rigid body, and now when we click play, it should fall down. Yeah, there we go. I mean, <laughs> it kind of just fell off a little bit there just because it's a little oh it's not even centered okay um, and then we can also make this a bit bigger here too and uh, so now when we click play it should just stay in place now all right sweet and I'll, I'll, another thing um, we can do is um, attach the camera to the player so um, now um, whenever the um, player falls the camera will fall as well there we go uh, I obviously need to put the camera up a little bit higher here and uh, yeah should be centered now and so another yeah so so far it can fall right now and uh, another thing you can do is let's create another uh, cube here and just to show that like uh, the rigid body can do a lot of things when it falls um so yeah so you can rotate this um right here so that when it falls it will kind of uh yeah kind of, oh whoa okay, okay i did not realize the camera was gonna go with it but that's kind of a, a little cool effect and if you uh disable the box glider here which we were talking about earlier um now the player should um just fall right through so that's pretty cool and uh, another thing we can do is um, we can create another material uh, we can uh, name it yellow and what we can do here is uh, make it a bit yellow we definitely want to add a second color here just to make it a bit more uh, detailed and just look better overall and then we could just add to the player 
Um, maybe a little bit darker. And also, once you add it to the player, it'll be affected uh, when you customize the color already. And uh, we might not want to have any, yeah, we won't, don't really want to have any smoothness. And uh, just darken that a little bit here. And so, yeah, and uh, another thing we can do is uh, add the box collider back here. And uh, if you want to um, uh, make this not a child of the um, uh, of the object, which is the player, you can just uh, click whatever you want to get out of this. It's basically just like a folder, and whenever you click the player or um, the level, it'll just move everything as um, as a child of the object, and so. Um, to remove that, uh, you can click whatever is inside the little folder, and you can just drag it out like that. So I that was personally a, a problem for me when I didn't know how to use Unity. But um, yeah, so now um, we can make the camera a little bit down since we aren't following the player anymore. And so now when the when you click play, the block will fall down, and it'll just have a bunch of um, It'll actually have gravity to it. And yeah, so that's basically the the very basics of Unity. There's still so much more uh, you can learn. And, um, but yeah, uh, just knowing those basics really helped me. And hopefully it can help y'all too. And I will see y'all in the next one.